I was scared because the last time I shot a gun was probably like years ago. <laughs> I'm already up. Oh, you better be up. Okay. Because I had to get the girls and stuff ready. Uh uh, don't be yawning all on my vlog. Uh uh, don't be vlogging me so early. <laughs> Good morning you guys it is super bright it's my sixth day in the gym and I'm excited about that because I have not went a full six days in a minute like I've been going on and off and things like that my old routine I used to do six days a week and then take a day off sorry y'all it's like super sunny right now because it's very early that's another thing I've been up early every single day this week I was getting up early because my sister she wanted to work out early because of her kids and I'll fill you in more on that when I get back because I'm a little bit late right now I didn't say I was on time every time I woke up but I have been getting up early it's 7 30 right now and at my gym you have to make an appointment to go to get your workout in so it's not crowded and there's only like a few people in there um three and um yeah so mine was at seven but it's okay because i'm just gonna do a half an hour of cardio today doesn't sound like a lot but it is for me i'm working my way back i'll fill you guys in on all that when i get back i just want to show you what i drink before i go to my workout it's just green tea so you know i just put green tea in a cup with some water and it's cold and i put a squeeze of lemon and cayenne pepper and i usually make it the night before and i just put it in the refrigerator and in the morning i drink that as like my energy drink because i used to be you know like a c4 like i used to take that all the time but i just read some things about it and i was like um i'm not gonna be taking that but i need something like i don't know to just get me in that routine to where i'm like okay i drink my um energy drink and then i go so i'm like let me just make something and see like if that you know gets in my head to where i'm like oh okay i'm energized and that's what this has been doing and it's been helping me go so i'm gonna go get my workout in and then i will talk to you how this week has been going after that <music> Right, I finished my workout so that makes day six I just need to get through two more weeks and then it'll be a full habit because they say it takes 21 days to make a habit so I'm gonna be getting up early every day now so I can get stuff done I started waking up to motivate my sister to get up early too before her kids wake up so she could be in the gym too but like two days in, she ain't getting up early anymore. She's talking about, I'm gonna work out at night. I'm gonna work out in the afternoon. I'm a. So I've been getting up early by myself every day when I did not want to, I was getting up early for you. But it's all good because I've been wanting to start getting up early again because I have a lot more to do, especially this year. Um, I just have a lot more things planned and coming soon, so. I need to be up early so I can get as much done in a day as I can and starting with a workout because last year got a little crazy with quarantine and the gyms being closed and just the just everything going on. I know that was stressful for everybody, but um, yeah, I just want to get back on my routine because it was way, way, way off, way off like nothing before. I'm kind of bummed that um, I can't really start like my classes and stuff anymore, but I know how to do this. I could do this by myself. Just watch, just watch. But first thing I'm gonna get done this morning, coming from the gym, I'm not even gonna take off my clothes or anything because if I take a shower, start relaxing, pour my protein shake, I'm gonna start relaxing. And I don't wanna do that because I need to take my Christmas tree down. Yeah, this can't stay up another day.
much as I could get done right now. I need to go get like a bin, you know, like one of those things where you store stuff, like a plastic bin or something, because I still have this stuff down here um, that's not in a box. And this box doesn't close, so I wanna put some of that stuff in here. This is all the stuff that I'm gonna go down and put in my storage. So I didn't even put my Christmas tree in there yet because I don't know what I did with the box that my Christmas tree came in. So I'm gonna have to get something to put that in as well. And um, yeah, so I see people put them in like those tarp bags. I think that will be easier and take up less room in my storage because I already have a lot of boxes that I need to put in there right now. So I'm gonna have to go get a bin and one of those bags to finish putting everything away. But everything is away. I mean, everything is wrapped up, ready to go. I'm gonna take that cart down. After I make a protein shake, I need a little break and I'll show you guys what I put in my shake. I put spinach, strawberries, a half a banana, and some blueberries with a scoop of protein and water. And on days that I know I'm not gonna be able to eat my next meal for a while or I'm busy running around, I put peanut butter just because it adds like I feel like it makes me fuller when I add a little bit of peanut butter, but I don't do that every day because some days I'll just be like able to eat my next meal like right on time so I don't really need it. But um, today I'm going to put it in there because I have a busy day. So I will be running around and I don't know when I'm gonna have time to eat my next meal. So I want it to keep me full for a while. I just put the other half of the banana I didn't use in here with the berries, the strawberries, and the spinach. And I just put this in the freezer. So tomorrow morning when I come in for my protein shake, it's all ready to throw in the cup. So if I have something to do, you know, it's quick. And the days that I am at home, well, at least I have a couple hours at home before I have to start running around, I put my protein shake in a wine glass because i feel like it makes me feel more like relaxed i don't know because like drinking out that plastic thing it makes me feel like i gotta go like i'm you know what i mean like on the run because when it's in that plastic thing i'm drinking it probably out somewhere because i have to go somewhere you know i'm bringing it along with me but when i'm home i feel like put it in a wine glass it just relaxes you like after your workout you just feel like oh I did something and now I can relax. You know what I mean? I don't know. You got to find the little things to make working out and being healthy enjoyable so you can like stick with it. You know, I don't want to feel like, oh, I got to make this protein shake. So I'm just going to finish this shake and then put my stuff away downstairs and I will have one thing done today. <laughs> I'm about to take some of my stuff to Goodwill. I took two bags yesterday, but y'all know my car, so I can't really fit big bags in my trunk. They're like huge, they're this size. The other ones yesterday were even bigger than this. And then I still have these clothes to go through. Do not judge me. It's a little bit cleaner in this room though. My desk is back in its normal place, which is right here. And then I have a different table over here for filming. So all these clothes, and including those pants right there is giveaway. I'm going to look through it one more time though because there might be, I don't know, a shirt or something I want in there. But pretty much everything is going. Like, I completely wanna start over. There's um, some clothes in my closet, not much, but enough for me to get by. Like, I can put an outfit together. And if I really, really had to go somewhere, which I haven't been lately because nothing is really open i could just get an outfit but <laughs> yeah i'm not worried about you know having anything to wear and as long as i got my gym clothes because you know i'm in the gym again i'm good so that's the first thing that i have to do today and then i think i'm going to finally take my friend's baby her christmas stuff because i'm leaving out of town so yeah i have to do that today like that.
that. Those look huge, actually. These, these are so cute. <laughs> I literally have been looking for a pair of them. Good morning, you guys. I don't know if I told you guys yesterday that I have a class today. I'm going to be getting my gun permit. So I'm meeting up with one of my friends. I haven't seen her in a long time. So um, yeah, we're about to go. It's like, it's a class from 8 a.m., which is in an hour to 5 p.m. And I don't think I can film. If I can, of course I'll have my phone. I'll try to get what I can. But um, yeah, so that's where I'm headed to this morning. I'm just about to eat breakfast and then throw something on and get on the road because it's about 20 minutes away from me. So I guess you don't really need one to have like a gun in the house or whatever, but you need one to carry it on you, which like I'm not gonna be out here with a freaking holster, but the class for me is just more to like know about how guns work and stuff like that because it's like I've been to the gun range and everything, but I don't know if I could really make it work. If there's a gun right here, I don't know if I could really make it work. You know what I mean? Like that was a long time ago. Like I, I feel like in for me not to be afraid of guns, like I need to know exactly how it works. So that's like my main reason to take the class too, is just to get more knowledge on it. And I feel like, like where I live now, I feel like very, very safe. And if I were to be in a house like more vulnerable, I feel like I would need something in my house because yeah, it's just it's just a whole different vibe living in a house and i did for a little bit um live in a home and but i felt really safe there i guess because it was just like a small community and it was gated but now like i don't know like i just really like where i live because it's i just feel very safe and um but who knows like you know i can finally buy a house that I can move into and not rent out because that's really the only reason to buy houses for me to buy houses right now to rent out to people and yeah so you know I love the high-rise life though I do I love the high-rise life but I know there will be a time when I'm living in my home and it's not gonna be no regular house so I got to be prepared for these crazy people trying it I just shot for the first time well not my first time but my first time in the class and um, I was scared because the last time I shot a gun was probably like years ago I hope you guys can hear me but um so yeah so I went in and shot and now I'm just waiting for the sit-down part to learn more about the gun I'm like I got here and I was thinking we're gonna learn before shooting but he's like come in gave me the gun and we just got right into it. So now my friend is inside. She's taking her turn to shoot. And then we're gonna sit down and um, take the actual class part. And then he was like, he was saying though that this class is actually for people who know how to shoot. So he's taking it a little slower with us, which I'm thankful for because I'm like, I know, I've shot a gun, but I don't know if I like remember what I'm doing. So I do need to learn. Alright, so I'm finally home. I was in this class for eight hours today and I got my gun, my license to get my gun permit. I think I'm saying it right. I did learn something today, so. But yeah, so um, it was a good class. I learned a lot that I didn't know because even when I went to go shoot at a shooting range, like I kind of just got behind the gun and started shooting. It wasn't like technical you know rules or whatever i mean technical like laws and everything so i learned all that today passed both tests the one shooting and the written work i feel like i have to continue learning and especially like when actually shooting before i really want to purchase my gun i think she's a little more ready than i am but um yeah i'm not as scared as i was because right when i walked in i had to start shooting so i was like dang can i learn how this thing 
it goes on and on. You know what I mean? Can I learn how it works a little bit? Like, damn, okay, um, a little shaky, but of course I get the hang of it, right? Um, he was trying to coach me a little bit as I was shooting. So later I found out that the class was actually for people who know how to shoot already. It's, it wasn't like we are about to learn to shoot. So that's like extra help that I'm gonna have to, you know, seek to take, you know, more training on shooting and like defensive training or whatever, where they put you in like scenarios and you're like, you know, that, that sounds like fun. But after I really learned how to load the gun, unload the gun, like really, cause we didn't do all that, you know, it was basically just like, you had to test like your shooting. I don't know what that was for, but yeah. But it was cool. Yeah, so that was my gun range experience. I still have to go get the actual permit and everything, but they just gave us the little, you know, certificate and all that. So I got it on me. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're acting like they're asleep. <laughs> Fakers. <laughs>